As we said, coronavirus infections globally surpass a one million mark today and nations are ramping up their testing numbers in response. Now, in Australia, just over 275,000 people have been tested in total. It's said to be one of the best testing population regimes testing numbers to population in population terms in the world. However, there are concerns that some states, as opposed to others, are lagging behind and that access to tests is patchy. Joining me now by Skype is Georgie Crozier, the Victorian Shadow Health Minister and herself a former nurse. Georgie, you were on to this issue pretty early on. You've put some questions to the Health Minister Jenny McCarkas in the Victorian Parliament. What have you asked her and why? Well, that's right, um, Peter. Good evening. I did ask uh, questions to the Minister a few weeks ago, some weeks ago, mid-March, about Victoria's capacity and capability to test the community because I could see what was happening. Obviously, this was becoming a very serious issue. And at the time, the Minister couldn't tell me how many test kits or swabs that they had uh, in Victoria. So that was quite concerning. And at the same time, a few days later, our criteria was being narrowed and I mean I'm pleased now that they've broadened the criteria but I'm really concerned that many members of the community during this period of time may not have been tested and they're going to be put at risk. We might have a graph I could put up on the screen just so people can get a sense of, uh, of uh, Georgie Crozier's comments there. It's vis-a-vis state-by-state uh, testing. New South Wales is at 100 and 14,000 tests. Victoria is down there at 51,000 tests. And the populations are not vastly different uh, in terms of numbers in those two big states. So it does strike you as unusual, Georgie, uh, to see the Victorian numbers so low. And also the risk, and the Premier himself has spoken about this a number of times uh, this week, the risk in Victoria is really of more a community, so person to person transmission where people haven't been overseas or haven't been in contact with someone known to be positive. In New South Wales, it's a lot of returning people from overseas that have led to their high numbers. So, so what happens now? Well, exactly, Peter. I mean, you've got those figures. You can see uh, the numbers and where Victoria sits compared to other states and how, uh, in relation to percentage per population, Victoria is way below other states. And what I'm really concerned about is you know, we've had 49 new cases today here in Victoria and 21 of those are healthcare workers. So we've got this community transmission issue, uh, but really critically important is our healthcare workers who are becoming sick and testing positive as well. So we've got a big issue here and I think the government needs to really explain to Victorians just why we haven't had that capacity to test over the last few weeks. Why was it that they narrowed the criteria? Uh, they need to, uh, you know, be really up uh, just to be upfront with the community to uh, so that the community can understand exactly what's gone wrong, gone on here, uh, compared to other states who have done far more testing. And of mm. course, if you get more testing, you're going to get a greater number uh, positive, and therefore you can treat them, you can manage them, and that's exactly what we need to do uh, to help, you know, combat this terrible, terrible situation that that everyone's in at the moment. And particularly because we've seen in a couple of instances, we've seen it in New South Wales at Westmead and we've seen it here in Victoria at the Cancer Centre, as some very mm. vulnerable people have had staff mm. <coughs> in those areas test positive uh, and that makes it very difficult, I think, for, for cancer patients to have confidence in the system. Uh, but also I interviewed someone from, uh, from a Geelong woman, a scientist now, who's leading mm. a big program in Singapore. They've created new tests. Well, why don't we have them here? <laughs> well, indeed, and I think that's exactly right. I mean, I'm I'm getting contacted by healthcare workers who are who are you know really concerned about the patients that they're looking after, but they're also concerned about the, themselves, about their ability to have protection as well. And uh, I think we need to expand that testing. And and as you say, what's happening around the world, we need to be bringing that here to Victoria and to Australia, and and getting onto this as soon as possible. And I hope the government's doing everything they can to enable that to occur. Yeah, we will watch it closely, Georgie. Please stay in touch. Will do. Thank you, Peter.